Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Human here. Today we are going to be talking about the importance of morning routines. I don't know about you, but my morning routines have been the one thing that have carried me through this year. And I'm going to be breaking down the different parts of my morning routine and why I think this different part is so important and how they have helped transform my life in the positive way they have. Let's just start with morning routines. I think it's just so important to pay attention to the morning routine because that's literally the start of your day, right? At least for most people, I think it's the start of your day. The tone you set at the beginning of the day kind of determines the way the day also unfolds. So I think it's really important that you set the right tone in the morning so that the rest of your day is actually going to be the way you want it to be and the day doesn't just happen to you. Now my morning routine, the different aspects of my morning routine and one of the main things in my morning routine is first I wake up in the morning and I pray. I wake up at like 5 30 now with rotations and I pray. Starting my day with the prayer is one of the most important things for me. It just mentally sets me in the right space. It, it enables me just give up control of the day or give up trying to control everything and just allow myself be a part of the day just allowing myself go through the day knowing I can do as much as I can but I cannot always control all situations and I think that that giving up of control is sometimes very powerful and something that enables me to just 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 be sometimes just allow myself experience things and not necessarily always try to be in control of things so definitely praying in the morning and just having that awareness and giving God the control of the day while still doing my best and doing my part is really important. That's the first thing I do in the morning. That's the most important thing. Sets the tone for the rest of the day. Second thing is I try as much as possible now that I have my rotations, which are taking up a lot of time. And there's a lot of other things I like doing on the side. I try as much as possible to do some things which I get energy from in the morning before going to the hospital. That means I do either um, edit videos or I study a bit or I have coaching sessions in the morning. If the coaching, if the coaches are like Americans or living in different time zones, then we can have coaching sessions really early in the morning. So I try to do something that gives me energy in the morning so that way I feel like, okay, I've done something for myself before going to the hospital to just, you know, do what I have to do with rotations and stuff like that. I love being in the hospital. I love the, I love neurology. I love the department I'm in now. But sometimes there are some things which give me more energy than that. And I like to also do that in the morning because that just sets the right tone for the day. The third thing is I go for runs after studying or after editing. And guys, I feel like I've, I'm high key, very high key addicted to the feeling I have after running now. Initially, the goal for this year was just to, you know, run more because I was running the marathon. Um, and then after the marathon, I was like, okay, shoot, I was going to run a half marathon this year and then next year run a full one. But this year, I eventually ran a full marathon. So now I'm like, okay, what's the goal? Why am I still running? But because of the training I had in the morning, because of that feeling I got from running, the feeling I got after running in the morning, I high key just got addicted to the feeling. I'm like high key addicted to that feeling now. It's like if I wake up in the morning and I just study and go to the hospital without like, you know, that that running, that after run feel, it just feels off. It feels like I've not done something in the morning. It feels like my morning is not, it's not starting off on the right footing. So now I just cannot help. It's just 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it doesn't have to be long. Just the fact that I get my heart rate up for at least five, 10 minutes. That has been an instrumental part of my day. I get to the hospital and I'm alert. Like everyone is like, how are you so sharp in the morning? The morning routine, guys. And last but not the least, this one has been transformational for me. And this one is a difficult one. I tell a lot of people and people just, when they hear me reach this part, they're like, yeah, bro, no, we're not going to do that. It's the ghetto. And I get it. I get it because it is tough. It is not an easy one, but these are cold showers. Cold, cold, icy cold showers. And I started cold showers in November 2021. So that was also like in the colder part of the year. I don't know why I started in the colder part of the year. I think it was because I was getting a weird feeling in my chest. And I was just like, okay, I have to try to do something, anything which I could find, which was good for my blood vessels. Hopefully that was a vascular problem. I don't know if it's a muscle problem or a vascular problem. But all I know is when I started doing cold showers, I didn't feel it that much anymore. So most likely the cold showers helped with that. But I think it was just a, a nice mix of coincidences where I also got more exposed to Wim Hof. At that point in time, the cold guy, you know, off. I just got exposed to his content more and more and the research around that and I was just like you know what I might as well try this and I'm also someone who loves challenges I love doing difficult things like if everyone is doing the easy thing you would find me looking for the difficult things so when I came across cold showers I was like ha huh, this sounds difficult this sounds like a challenge no one wants to do this I will do it like there's so many benefits from it medically and also just it saves you money guys when I did cold showers for that year I got back like 600 euros, I think a thousand. So it was split between two of us, my houseman and I. 500 euros each from our electricity bill because we just didn't use that much heat, not like for warm showers. So it 
apart from the health benefits, it, it has a lot of other social benefits as well. But cold showers have really been so impactful for me physically, like how I feel and also just mentally the way I'm awake in the morning because I had rotations then where I had to wake up at 4.45 in the morning and take a cold shower. Oh, you're definitely awake. Trust me, if any iota of sleepiness that was still left in you after waking up from your bed is gone after the cold shower. So I love that aspect of just being awake, being present at the at the hospital when you arrive, just, just being awake when you're supposed to be awake. And also the one part which for me, next to the health benefits and being awake, which is so, which I really love, is the mental resilience. I'm all about, guys, I love this organ. I love the brain. Anything brain, psychologically, physically, I love. And the fact that cold showers really trains your mental resilience. Waking up every morning, standing in front of that shower, knowing it's going to be uncomfortable and still deciding to crank up that cold dial without the hot one that is that is something which is powerful and every time i've been doing cold showers now from 2021 so it's been slightly about two years now every morning cold shower winter summer doesn't matter it never gets easier of course you know that it's not going to last that long once you're in the shower for like 10 seconds you feel like it's warm again it doesn't feel that bad compared to the beginning but it never really gets at least for me it never really gets easy to crank up that dial it's not like i wake up in the morning they're like whoo let's enjoy this no never really happens like that i'm always standing there like why am i doing this to myself and then again i still go and i crank up that dial so it never really gets easy but that mental training is something which i value a lot just waking up in the morning and one of the first things you do in the morning is one of the most difficult things you're going to do during that day. It kind of programs your brain to believe, okay, if I've tackled this challenge at the beginning of the day, there's nothing that comes at me this day which I would not be able to tackle. And I think that, that mental predisposition is so powerful. When you start the day knowing I've conquered the first challenge of the day, which is probably going to be the most difficult challenge of that day, there is nothing that will come at you that day which you would not be able to tackle or you would not at least mentally think you can tackle. And for me, that has been one of the most transformational things. You should imagine just starting every day doing the most difficult thing you can do that day. Like it probably is not the most difficult thing. In 95% of my days, the cold shower is one of the most challenging things you have to do. And doing that as the first thing in the morning, you can imagine how did that just pre predisposes you to like tackle everything that comes at you during the day and that's one thing which i love i think that's my most valuable benefit from cold showers aside the biological things aside the physical benefits and the alertness and everything just the mental resilience that you get from doing that that's it for me like that's it for me um and of course there's a lot more benefits but that's it for me so those are the main parts of my morning routine just the prayer the prayer in the morning doing something for myself which i get energy from um going for a run getting that that dopamine that nice endorphin rush and also the cold showers and the mental resilience training that comes with that. Those things are the things which make up my morning routine. And I think this has been really transformational for me. Just having different things that, that fit your own personality and that give you the energy and the training that you need. I think this has been really transformational for me because I just, I find myself making the most of my days because I think I set the right tone in the beginning. Whereas previously when I just woke up and rolled out of bed and just, just went to where I was going to, I don't think I had the same level of mental mental agility. I didn't have the same level of mental aggressiveness with tackling things, if that makes sense. And I feel like that's something I missed, which now I have. And I'm just like, yeah, I think I attribute it for the most part to my morning routine. So I think if you're trying to change things for yourself next year, start with the small things. Maybe just start by making up your bed in the morning. Jordan Peterson says it in his book, just make up your bed in the morning. The small things are going to compound. It is not going to be the dramatic things. It's not going to be a big thing like boom, just transforms everything. No, it's going to be the small things you do daily, the mundane things, the boring things, the boring things you do daily, which eventually lead to big returns. So yeah, if you're trying to change things, maybe, just maybe look at your morning routine. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe below to stay updated with the videos that are going to be coming. But guys, that has been it for this video. Let me know what your morning routine is. I'm curious. Do you have a morning routine? Does it work for you? I'm curious to know. Maybe I could learn a thing or two from that. But feel free to let me know in the comment section. Maybe others could learn from it as well. But until next time, guys, stay blessed and peace.